in the previous two lectures i have talked about the flow of logic of selection sort and i have explained to you step by step the implementation program also in this lecture i am just going to show you the algorithm for selection sort so this is our outer loop which is being used uh, for number of passes for i colon is equal to 1 to n minus 1 as you know in selection sort the number of passes are n minus 1 where n is the size of the array so had there been a size of 10 i'm talking about array had there been a, an array size of 10 it would have been the loop would have been 1 to 9 so okay so after that we will come to the inner loop and uh, this is uh, used for comparisons you know it F repeat for j colon is equal to i plus 1 to n as you know in selection sort we select an element and we keep comparing it with the rest of the elements so for the first time when value of i will be 1 i have uh, uh, taken the first subscript to be 1 not 0 because i am writing an algorithm so j value of j will become 2 right so uh, when it will come within the body of the inner loop what will be the comparison if r1 is, is greater than r2 because value of j is 2 so then interchanging if interchanging is required that will take place again it will go up the value of j will become 3 i plus 1 so because uh, the uh, value of j will be automatically incremented by 1 previously it was 2 now it will become 3 so r1 will be compared with r3 next time r1 with r4 r5 and so on so when inner loop will be uh, will be terminated then it will go to the beginning of the outer loop value of i will be incremented by 1 from 1 it will become 2 and what will be the value of j initial value of j in the inner loop it will become 3 so we will be comparing add 2 with add 3 then add 2 with add 4 add 3 with so on we will be comparing it like this right so this algorithm is exactly like the implementation program that i have explained uh, to you right so um, as you can see from this logic uh, and as you already know that in selection sort in each successive pass we keep leaving out the upper element so first time when value of uh, j was uh, when value of j was 2 then r1 was compared with r2 this is okay but in the next pass when value of i was 2 what was the value initial value of j 3 so r2 was compared with r3 r2 with r4 so on so what we are leaving out is first element that is r1 so in each successive pass we will be leaving an element from the top 